What's good, y'all? It's your boy Santo G, man. Back at it. Like always, spreading unity, prosperity, and respect, man. Above all, today, man, I got a reaction video, man, to this 1090 Jake, man. He's putting Pino on blast. For those of y'all who don't know who Pino is, he's this, um, I guess he, he was trying to say he was a crib. He was trying to say, I think he was from Hoover. And no disrespect to anyone, you know what I mean? My respect to everyone, but let's just keep it real. Ain't no one fucking claiming this clown, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not even, I hate to do a reaction like this, but it's just, I've been seeing the back and forth that had been going on with 1090 Jake and uh, Pino just throughout the past, what, year or a little bit over a year or something like that, or probably a little bit longer. Honestly, 1090 Jake is one of the first YouTubers that I actually, like, tuned into. I mean, him and uh, DJ Ghost are one of the two that I first watched. But i just been seeing how this whole thing has been transpiring, man, and how the whole situation happened with them getting down and everything, you know what I'm saying? Because pretty much 1090 Jake was putting them on blast, you know what I'm saying? And the whole time... It's crazy how this guy still has such a huge following, you know what I'm saying? And now with this, it just solidifies, it. even if the paperwork that 1090 Jake had already brought to the table, if that didn't solidify it already, this solidifies it more, you know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to react to it, man, and let's just check it out, man, without further ado. Five o'clock yesterday, sleeping on this. What did you say? Shaco to. What did you say? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and anything. What did you say? Huh? What did you say? Yeah, there's a tape recorder on this. Oh, you you yeah, said what? What did you say? You said. Yeah, on the other side of the room. Oh, there's a tape recorder. Hold on, Joe. Whatever the f you said. I'm gone. I too. That five thousand dollar bond. That was said, tell him you hear voices. It's all come back, Jeff. Hey, listen. Now I got you guys all here. I'm confused about the guitar thing, okay? You said that she did the burglary with the guitars and gave you one of the computers. <laughs> Straight put them on blast too. <laughs> I'm not trying to get all these charges. I already have violation of community control, and if I get an add-on charge with that, they throw me back in prison. I have a kid on the way, man. Okay. Scott Smart. B R A N D O N S C O T T Smart. What's your date of birth? How old are you? Chinese, Where do you live, sir? No, no. Where were you living over there? I was living with my baby's mother. I was going there. Like, I was living. The place over on military we were at earlier? No, I was living there off and on. I was living with my baby mother in Cool Springs. Okay. What's your baby's mom's name? Trisha. Trisha what? Saudi. Spell that? S A U D I. Okay. Now, um. What's the address you're staying at recently? I don't even know the address. Is it the one we were at earlier today? No, I don't even know what the address is. Alright, that's uh. Northwest Night Path. Okay, what's your phone number for each at? Okay. 
Um, what's your height? Five ten. Weight? One sixty. Um, hair color? Brown. Blonde. Brown. Brown. Eye color. Blue. Okay. Um. You got tattoos on you, man? Let me see what's your biggest tattoo. Right. What is that? What's your name? There's a couple spikes here, right? Four spikes? Three. That's what's it called? Eternity. Where were you born? Plantation Medical Center. What's your social? see your face. Any gold teeth or anything like that? Black pants. Black shirt. All right, Charlie. I'm going to go ahead and forward it a little bit, man. How do you know Matt? My mom and his dad were about to get married. We've known each other since we were like babies. Yeah. What about this other girl? I just Leia. I just met her like. What do you think of her, man? She's a drug addict. I know what she is. Yeah, she yeah. she's probably lied her ass off to me. And she. How do you know Rebecca? She's someone of my uh, customers, I guess you want to say. Right? What do you mean? Because I sell weed, like. That's fine. You know, I sell weed for somebody else. And How long have you done, Rebecca? Since I've been on military. What do you call her? You were in the military? Since I was on military. Oh, since you were on military. Yeah. For about a month or two? About a month. Yeah. What do you call her other than Rebecca? Rebecca. What's her full name? I don't know. I have her phone number, her boyfriend's number. I know you have it. Call. Yeah. Where's your phone at? Whoever took my phone, the officer has it. I got a, I got a call. We're about to go get her right now. Um, Give me one second. Um, I can tell you where she lives. She lives in her abandoned apartment. She's the main one who brings everything to me or my brother or the house, and then it gets either pawned by Nikki or it gets put in another house that has a lot of stuff in it. Really? And Margate. What are you talking about? Really? Margate? Yeah. Well, what kind of stuff, bro? Work with uh, me. Drugs and all type of shit. It's just like a, another foreclosed house that has all type of shit in it. Talk to me about that. Talk to me about the house across the street. The house across the street from military? Yeah. That house over there in that neighborhood right there. Talk to me about that, bro. I was the lookout on that, and then my brother helped carry the TVs into the You and truck. your brother? Yeah. Who's your brother? Well, I call him my brother. Who, Matt? Matt? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what happened that day. Rebecca came and got me, said I got a lick or whatever, da, 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 but I would need help, you know what I'm saying? I could give it to you guys, but I need help. And I was like, all right. So I told my brother, and he wanted to grab the truck. And we Your brother, Matt Mueller? Yeah. Okay. And we grabbed his dad's truck. What color is his truck? Blue. Okay, and what happened? And we went over there and helped carry the TVs into the truck. How'd you guys get in the house? She was already in the house by the time we got there. How do you think she got in? I don't know, however people get in. Probably. So you got there and she was already in? Yeah, she had called me on my phone. Really? I mean, it was right across the street. Hey man, I need to get this girl, bro. And she stays with it, the, her boyfriend. What's it's your boyfriend's name? Ray something. You gonna take me over to her house? I can show you where the car is at. I don't. I can show you the area. I really don't even know the house. I know it's an abandoned house. It's like down Crystal Lake Drive. Mm -hmm. There's an abandoned house right here. I need help getting this out. And All right, now, y'all. First foremost, shout out 1090 Jake, man. 
for i don't even know how you got your hands on this my boy honestly it's like all right you got the paperwork you know what i'm saying and people still trying to have the doubts you know what i'm saying and now it's like you got the video homie so it's like shout out to you homie it's like i don't know how the fuck you do this shit dog like you know what i'm saying to be honest like i said this was one of the channels that i first watched when i started watching youtube just because of how detailed homeboy is with all his work you know what i'm saying like he goes that extra length you know what i'm saying to get the black and white to get everything before he even speaks on something so you know what i'm saying salute like i said i know this is out of the normal but I just wanted to bring this to the table because there is a lot of people like this clown right here on this fucking screen, you know what I mean? Straight telling and it's like, my boy, I, I recommend you just hang it up, you know what I'm saying? I don't see there's nothing that could come out of your mouth, homie, that can be at some help to anybody you showed right here you got no morals you know what i'm saying and anyone who's on here flashing straps flashing anything like that trying to act like they hard and they gangster you know what i'm saying is nine times out of ten not that you know what i'm saying if you gotta flash it on here to kind of solidify that then you're not that you know what i mean it's one of those if you know you know you know what i'm saying but like i said you know what i mean uh I just wanted to react to this. It just came out. You know what I mean? I think it was like, <clears throat> I know it was today. It was like 12 hours ago or something like that, man. But he just dropped it today. And I just, I, I watched it and I had to react to it, man. I had to react to it just because, like I said, um, I've been watching everything transpire with 1090 Jake with when, you know what I mean, they were calling each other out and then they made up, they squabbled up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And how it was like kind of still trying to be up in the air and it's like, man, you know what I mean? There was paperwork and then I was like, damn, there's a video. You know what I'm saying? It just amazes me. That's why I had to react to it. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, this is some shit. You know what I mean? This shit is like something you don't see every day. You know what I'm saying? Salute. You know what I mean? Unity, prosperity, and respect, man. But of all, like I said, this ain't no disrespect to nobody or no faction or anything like that. I'm pretty sure after this, if it wasn't already like that, but I'm pretty sure ain't nobody claiming this clown. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Santo G, unity, prosperity, and respect, man. I'm out. Y'all have a good night.